The interior is now out of Marcy, as far as I need to take it. I've got beautiful access to that center console, and I pulled the back seat because there's a, there's two spots that I've been meaning to deal with for a while that need to get uh, welded up, but that's not for this video. So my floors are still intact real well. Some surface rust from the moisture sitting there. Outside of that, though, everything's solid still, so bonus. This is the guy I gotta deal with. The design of the other one is totally different. Looks like it uses the exact same cutout, though, so I'm gonna try to use that to my advantage. Let's go see the stick shift car and see the differences here. All right, so the Nako or the cutout looks like it's in the same spot, but the style and the shape of this one is, is backwards, it's different opening on the automatic is closer to the front portion where the manual is closer to the uh, parking brake. So I'm going to cut that section out of the tunnel and take it with me. And then I'm going to use that to graft into my car and essentially make what I need for the opening to be. And it'll all be pre-built for me and the shape will be correct and heck, the color is even correct. All right, let's get cutting. So I drilled all the spot welds off of the manual column, uh, the manual tunnel there, and I now have that panel particularly that, that is intended for the center console. So my next trick, for my next trick, now I'll have to, uh, I'm going to have to get rid of the automatic one. And you drill out the spot welds, it's one of the easier ways to remove this thing and, and keep everything intact. The problem I'm having here with the transmission in place is now I've got obstacles to work around. Alright, this is where the interesting aspect takes in. Um, I've got power to this barn, but it's via extension cord. It's a 12 gauge cord. and. Uh, you know, it's might be two of them, and together they might be 200 feet long. And well, I think you can. Yeah, I just. Yeah. So here's the hoping it doesn't pop the breaker. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna gently spot weld. That's a welding blanket. I covered the entire dash with it, out of fear that anything happens to the dash. So let's see how this is gonna go. Cross your fingers. journey now we still know that I am a not a welder so yeah it looks horrendous I am just luckily I'm lucky it's gonna all be hidden under the carpet but it's solid and it's attached all the way around all the spot weld holes have been filled I checked underneath and the fitments not bad either I did stuff a little steel plate in there just to try to keep from burning through the rag that's plugging up the shifter pocket there now we're going to hit it with some seam sealer and let it cure. I'd have to say I'm rather pleased with the progress today. So we were able to drill out all the spot welds that held in the original automatic console and then ultimately weld in the manual part and I just finished with all the seam sealer, so at the very least, it's uh, sealed up. I overdid it because I don't feel like painting in here, and I figured all the paint I scraped, I might as well cover with the silicone. Plus, the tube was a little messed up because it was used once before, so just send it, right? So I'll let that cure. All right, another milestone there. Finally got the shifter installed. Um, I worked on some repairs on the back end. I 
got one side done. This is the driver's side that's all wrapped up. Uh, and then I was thinking, well, quickly I'll just replace the reverse light switch because unbolt the old one, bolt the new one in. The connector had rusted off, so the old one was no good. And of course, it was as stuck as it's ever been, so I had to actually take the trans half out of the car and smash it out with a chisel. And so that ate up a lot of my time this evening, so I did not get to the passenger side repair, but that will be a tomorrow job. I figure for the sake of a little bit of a reward, I should find out if the speedo is going to work properly and if I can shift through uh, any of the gears here too. Um, I'm not going to go fast because we're up on jack stands and everything else, but I can at least find out if uh, the wheels are going to turn. So let's fire it up. Clutches out of adjustment. I gotta say, that's a lot a bit disappointing, so. I don't know what's going on yet. I'm just trying to understand the issue, so I'll have to ponder that over. But it seems like pushing the clutch in doesn't disengage the transmission. I got through the gears, the speedo kicked on. I was basically having to rev match in order to shift, which I shouldn't have to do. Putting the clutch in, pushing the brake, it wants to stall out. So something's hung up, it's not, uh, it's not releasing, so there's got to be something bound up inside there. Okay, well, I will digest that information and sort out, sort out some form of a solution. But at least the floor is almost finished being repaired, so getting closer and closer to the finish line here. As you can probably see, I've made some progress here. The interior is for the most part back in. It's tough to deal with the passenger seat and trim, but was uh, I just did another clutch pedal adjustment so previously I, I added I added a little bit of length to the clutch cable through the adjustment and it got better it actually let me shift in reverse and I could shift through the gears um, with some difficulty of course that was before the shifter was on so I figured I'll try it again now I made one more adjustment um, we're gonna see if we're a little bit closer to where it should be at. Reverse. First. And we're moving. Second. Third. It's not warmed up yet. That's awesome. It doesn't even make noise anymore. I'll put the rest of her together and uh, I think it's time for a road test.
Time for a test drive. See how bad the alignment is now. I think it's gonna be out. And for the record, I have my fire extinguisher with me just in the event that there's a problem. She's not warmed up yet. Let's do this here. Clutch is acting up again. I don't think you guys are going to see much here, but at the very least you can come along for the ride. 